We did, but it's uh, it was it's, it's a little bit of the chicken or the egg thing, you know. I mean, we, we saw him doing it some last year on tape, and um, we came in with the mindset that you know, this is this is something that I, I call the no dribble advance pass, you know, where uh, you, know, you get an outlet and you know, you're seeing down the floor. By the way, my daughter had a great one yesterday in her eighth grade girls basketball game. I was praising her for it. Good job, Ari. Great job. <laughs> and um, you know, but it's something that he does naturally. That, uh, that I've taught the past teams that we've uh, encouraged, you know, with him and with all of our guys. You know, run the floor, run your patterns, and you know, whoever's getting the outlet or the rebound, you know, make sure as soon as you, you know, that ball touches your fingertips, you know, that you have your eyes uh, down the floor and see who makes those passes. How much of that is, is AD as well? Just his ability to, to get out and get another big down the floor. That's a huge part of it. You know, you got to have uh, wide receivers that you trust will catch the ball. And do something smart with it, and um, you know his catches in transition are near unguardable, and he catches just about everything. You know, so I think that's uh, that's been a big part of it as well. Have you seen another player that's been able to get the ball from like a rebound into the other team's paint as consistently as LeBron can, like in your years in the NBA? No. The short answer, no. I mean, Kevin Love's a great outlet guy, but um, not the way LeBron does it. How does that help you guys? Easy buckets. You know, the more again, the more the more you can get um, attacks on the other team's basket before the defense is set, the better the better your offense can be. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Frank. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah.